the first type I would like to start with, which is related to the code block type one, which is used to during the traffic beam allocation, which is referred to the PDSSCH, physical downlink shared channel allocation. What kind of beam can be allocated for the physical downlink shared channel to the user based on the code block type one? So uh, first of all, the word code block, what it means? Actually, uh, the, code, the meaning of code, work, uh, code block under the context of the CSRS, uh, channel state information, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, channel state information reference signal, is a set of recoder or recoding matrices. If you look into this complicated table in the bottom left here, this is actually something you can configure from uh, your network side. For example, in the network, you can give two inputs, and based on these inputs, you can define, define how many code blocks we have, which these code blocks define a particular beams, which is can be later on uh, being decoded by the user in the downlink direction through reading the CSRS. And he will report back to the GMB telling him that this is my the best pre-coding matrix for me, which can maximize my uh, signal tonalization. ratio. So initially from the configuration point of view and the network, in your network, what you need to do, uh, you need to select any of those uh, configuration. Here, as you can see here, we have something called as per this 3G PAP uh, table. Now you can see that you have something called number of CSRS antenna ports. So first thing you need to define how many ports you would like to read. And if you refer to my previous videos about the, the CSRS channel, you can refer to uh, my channel, you find this video. Just like each, each of those ports can uh, give you more granularity and also we, whenever you add more ports in the downlink direction, for example, this means the user will be measuring more referencing than downlink. So for example, assume that you bought the configuration to eight ports or 32 ports, okay? This means you will have 32 um, uh, CSRS reference signal in the downlink direction being transmitted from GMB to, towards the user and the user will be reading the 32 downlink direction. This is the first input. Uh, but till now, we didn't define the predefined decoding matrix, which is called the code block uh, type one. So how it can be defined? The second configuration you can give from, from the GMB side, this is like something uh, configurable. Uh, uh, so first one was antenna board. Second one related to this N1, N2. And this is like kind of defining the antenna, an antenna pattern or how kind of antenna your antenna would be operating. Let me an example. For example, N1 and N2, this is like uh, de determine the number of antenna in horizontal and vertical plane. Okay. For example, here you are telling them that I need to have uh, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two antenna in the horizontal plane uh, and one on the uh, vertical plane. And for example, the second one here is 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's showing that you will have two in the horizontal and uh, two in the vertical plane as well. So this is, can give more advantage whenever you would like to, to improve any of the vertical, for example, more, more high, high rise building or whatever. So you can go for the second configuration because this is giving more advantage to the vertical plane as well. And as you, as you can see here, we have also something called O1, O2, which is called oversampling. This is like as if you multiply it, for example, two by, by four, this means you will have eight beams in the, in, the, in the horizontal plane. And you will have one beam in the vertical plane. Uh, while here, two multiplied by four and two multiplied by four, you will have eight in the horizontal and eight in the vertical and so on. Uh, if you keep, keep doing the same here, and in total you will have eight beams. Here in total you have 64 beams. And this is your decoding matrix. For example, here, the user will tell them, I would like to select he, he have eight options in the horizontal plane, which he will be selecting any one of those based on his location. And he, report, he will report back to the GMB, telling them that uh, telling them that, that my best, for example, horizontal direction is, for example, uh, number one or two or three. I will be explaining this also in more details in the next slide. Uh, same for the other uh, directions. So the first thing you have to do first, first of all, you need to configure what kind of settings you would like to configure to your network. And this is depend on the scenario. For example, if you like to move the uh, areas with high level uh, or high, high rise building, so you need to look into a configuration which is improving your uh, vertical plane. For example, let's assume 32 ports and eight and two. So eight, two, this means you have two vertical plane. So you can now have more, um, uh, more control over the controlling the beam over the vertical or vertical direction or elevation direction. So this is like 2D. So they can uh, choose this one. In case, for example, you don't have uh, any high rise building, assume that it's a flat area. So you can uh, now go to the configuration 16 one. Why? Because 
whenever you increase the number of uh, of uh, of antenna in horizontal plane, this means you will have more subarrays in the horizontal plane. This means you can have even much better coverage and also much much better granularity in terms of the beams and downing direction. For example, in this scenario, you have 16 multiplied by 4, you have 64 beams. This means you will have more narrower beams. This means you can even at, uh, achieve much much better uh, signal to noise ratio or maximize your signal to noise ratio for the users so this will result in more uh, like much higher granularity if you selected the 32 for example scenario and 16 by 1 uh, for the horizontal direction so this can have a much better performance uh, keep it for now uh, I, I i know it's kind of looks complicated but next slide also and uh, next two or three slides will explain with a very good visualization example. But let, let me ex explain in general. Once you set your configuration, for example, assume you selected any of those configuration. Assume you selected any of those configuration. Now you would like to, to understand in general how this kind of information is being uh, transferred or sent from the GMB to the user and how the user will be selecting the best beams out of the, all of these matrix, uh, matrices. As you can see, this is an, an, at the end, this is your code box. For example, here you have eight code box, you have 64 code box, you have 256 code box or 256 beams, which is 32 in the horizontal and eight in the vertical. So the user need to select the best out of all these beams to tell Jajin B, this is the best beam and this is my angle of arrival. I would like you to start uh, transmitting my traffic beams toward the, this particular direction. So this is how, how this is being happening. If you look into the uh, bottom right figure here, initially this is the total uh, beams at the GMB sites. As I told you, this is, will be defined based on the configuration you are giving here. CSIS uh, configuration plus N1, N2 plus O1, O2. And this is something configurable. You can control it from the GMB side. So for example, here you can see this is a total GMB, uh, GMB and this is the, um, all the, the matrices, which is uh, uh, the recoding matrix in general referred as W. W is a product of W1 multiplied by W2. And W1 usually is called uh, long-term because it's being updated every 100 millisecond, while the W2 is called short-term because it's kind of related to the phase change which is uh, a short term, which is updating every uh, almost one millisecond. So in general, as you can see here, uh, the already the total GMB is, is here. Then the W1 will be selecting, for example, uh, a four beams, which is uh, starting from B0 to, till B3, assuming that this is a BI, BI, beam indication I, for example. And uh, you have the W2. So the user now will need to select the one beam only, the code book type one. The user need from code book type to select only a single beams out of those four, and it need to tell the network which beams is the best for him. For example, here I selected this one, and also it need to tell the network what is the uh, co-face uh, he he would like uh, the network to steer the, the beam towards. Like for example, what is his direction or whatever. So he need the user need to select the beam and the co-face, which is here referred as VI and alpha as well. Okay. So once the user select VI and alpha, you report these two information in the so-called PMI, uh, pre-coding matrix and doubling direction. So once it's being reported, GNB will do the calculation based on this matrix. So it will understand, for example, now the user need uh, this, the user need to be allocated for the physical downing shared channel based on this pre-coding matrix, based on these two uh, factors. And just a side note, Sometimes the network will decide not to allocate the beam in the uh, reported uh, information. Uh, this depends on also on the network implementation, but sometimes the network will see that no, this user need to be allocated another uh, PMI or another pre-coding matrix. But this is not the case for the meantime. So just to quickly again explain, here, for example, once you did the configuration, assume now you have the CSRS being transmitted as a wide beam. I'm assuming here the CSRS is being as a wide beam. Sometimes it can be also, uh, as I mentioned before, four beams. This is again based on the configuration. For example, you can select eight ports and you have another uh, th uh, fourth parameter called, for example, in different, depend on the vendor, but let's call it, uh, uh, as I'll explain later on as well, um, called CSI resource ID, for example. It's telling him, I, uh, as a configuration point of view, you are saying that I need only eight ports to be transmitted in the downlink direction. And I need also this to be like uh, being beam formed. I need to do a beam form CSRS. So instead of one wide beam, I need to have a four. So you can configure this um, CSRS, CSRS resource ID into four. So this means this one will be four wide beams. Okay. So here, 
all of these is the green one is the predefined code uh, code matrices which where the user need to start measuring the csrs as you can see here and uh in the right figure here this is i'm assuming this is eight ports so we have a csrs uh, reference signal non-zero power reference signal so the user will be measuring this one and based on that part you will define the best um, combination which is the best beam bi and alpha and he will be reporting back the so-called pmi which is the csi uh, csi channel state information this one including the ue feedback cqi pmi and ri which is the rank indication as well for example here is telling him i have something called pmi 11 and pmi 12 those PMI 11 and 12, a three and one. So it's telling him this is my, my actually my um, horizontal and vertical beam, and also this is my uh, co-phase or this is a phase. So based on this feedback, for example, the GMB will know that this is his direction. So I would like, for example, to allocate this particular beam here, which is called physical downlink shear channel, based on this particular feedback. And now the user will start uh, like doing his download normally and so on. Now let's explain more about the, this part related to N1 and 2 and O1 and O2 with more uh, uh, example, which is will be showing a visualization example, just to try to uh, make more comprehensive understanding about it. Uh, and just last uh, thing here, you can see the bottom down table here, just summarizing the steps followed by in, during the code book type one. For example, after the initial beam uh, uh, generation, which is related to, for example, SSP or whatever, then there will be the W1 and W2, the user will be selecting during the W2, the BI and the alpha, then it will be sent this one through the PMI report. So the transmitter, which is the GMB side, will be applying this uh, B, BI and alpha and send the final transmission, which is the physical download link to the channel. So going back to this uh, configuration, and also I would like to highlight an important information about kind of the differences between the configuration if you'd like to do some trials in your network. So again, uh, as you can see here, I, I just selected the exact same table in the previous slide, okay? But here I'm trying just to give a more visualization. First of all, assume that you have eight ports, okay? You only configure eight ports, and you decided to give this N, uh, NI, uh, N1 and N2 as, for example, two and two. So this uh, N1 and N2, this will be like um, uh, converting into a logical port from the antenna point of view. And by the way, there is something called B2A, P, P2A, which is port to antenna mapping. This port to antenna mapping, I would explain it in the, if you would like me to do so, you can confirm in the comments. Uh, I'll consider from high level uh, view how the port mapping is being done to the physical antenna. But this is, again, it's different. Uh, each uh, network implementation of vendor can follow different uh, methods, okay? But there is a high level understanding about it. I can explain it later on as well. But just just your logical. 2-2 two, two means what? You have, you can see here, 2, um, you have 2, uh, let's first start with 2-1. And 2-1 means you have 2 uh, in, in the horizontal, this one 2, and you have only 1 in the vertical, as you can see here, okay? And 2-2, two, two, this means you have one and two here like you have two in the in the horizontal and two in the vertical one here and one here and this is four and one you have four in the horizontal one two three four okay and you have only one in the vertical the three two you have three in the horizontal one two three and two in the vertical and so on here for example in four and four you have one two three four four in the horizontal and four in the vertical and the more you increase the vertical you might have reduction in the horizontal so you can improve your uh, vertical plane coverage but you can for example degrade your horizontal plane coverage so you need to be really careful for the configuration point of view okay regarding the, the csrs uh, ports this is as you can see it's having a, a kind of controlling uh controlling more about the csrs itself like how the csrs is being transmitted so for example assume now you selected let's see assume 32 and assume you have this one as uh, non-beam format uh, as a wide beam okay and here you selected another scenario as eight ports but with four beams as an example which is means uh, narrower beams okay so what is the main difference between them this one is giving more granularity as you can see here in that part you can even achieve more uh, traffic beams uh, in the, in the uh, for example, in this configuration, you have up to 256, which is up to 32. So this is giving more granularity in terms of the traffic beams. You have more narrower beams, okay? But again, this is uh, associated with some drawbacks. It might be a drawbacks, depending on the scenarios at the very end. For example, you have more overhead because in each transmission, the user need to read 
uh, or measure 32 CSI as reference signal in the in the plane. But again, increasing that part, yes, it's increasing the overhead, so it can impact your uh, maximum uplink, uh, sorry, downlink throughput. But at the same time, giving more estimation, this is giving more granularity to the user, so we'll be decoding more CSI uh, resources. He will more have a more, uh, he will provide more accurate feedback, and also he will have more decoding matrices to. Uh, to select out of them, as you mentioned here. So this is the first part. So if you make it as a wide beam, uh, first of all, uh, because it's 32 CSRS, this means your sub arrays will be, um, you will have a sub, uh, less sub arrays transmission, which means less uh, antenna elements per each of the port transmission. So this means you might have a less coverage compared to the eight ports, because eight ports, if it's beam format, it's having two advantages in terms of, of coverage. It can go uh, even to higher distance, uh, not necessary to cover uh, a wider area, but to go for a larger distance. Why? Because eight ports means that you can have four CSR resources, you can have four wide beams, and in the same side, uh, this means you will have uh, more sub arrays and more antenna elements transmitted for each port. Because now you will uh, the the physical or the antenna itself will utilize the existing. Uh, 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 64T, 64R, or the antenna elements in there to just utilize it for eight ports. Yes, it will be the, uh, transmitted in different uh, timing and so on, but at the end, the user only need to measure eight. So this is, can also provide again in, in, the, in, the, in the coverage in general of the CSRS and also can go larger distance. But again, this is, can be compensated in the 32 uh, ports through increasing, doing a power posting using the CDM or FDM. This can be also uh, detailed about the CSRS in general. And one more advantage that here you have uh, uh, less overhead, right? So you can achieve maximum uh, higher throughput. But again, this have a less granularity. So this is, you might end by that you have more wider beam in terms of um, traffic beams and so on. So uh, uh, if you're going, going to translate this one N1, N2 into beams, as you can see here, this is example is I, I can see it's perfect example. I have quoted from Massive MIMO for new radio from Samsung White uh, paper, as you can see here. If I zoom in here, so here for example, uh, let me just uh, zoom out a little. Okay, so for example, in this is this example as you can see here, it's highlighting NV OV and in the uh, horizontal plane, something in NHOH. So NHOH is, is referring to N1 and O1. And NVOV is referring to N2 and A2. This means that it's representing how many beams you will have in the horizontal plane or vertical plane. So now assume that uh, here you have whatever configuration you have mentioned here. So for example, you will multiply N, N H by OH. So assuming here you have this scenario. So assume this is will be 32 beams in the downlink direction and VOV will be selecting uh, 32 beams in the vertical direction. And the user will need to select only one out of those beams in one direction and one horizontal and one vertical. Assume now the user will be selecting this one. So he will be reporting the BMI I11 at about the horizontal uh, Plane. I will also explain this one with a visual example in the next slide. And it will be also reporting the BMI I12, which is, for example, in the vertical plane. So telling him this is my the best beam for me in the horizontal plane, and this is the best beam in the vertical plane. So this is actually the meaning of uh, pre-coding indexes or matrix that all these beams the user can select out of uh, or out of them, the best beam for him.